hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Agi thank you so much for clicking on this video and today's video we are going to be making the amazing coconut butter cake and if you're not yet subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button because I know later on you would want to refer to this recipe and you won't be able to find it so kindly hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified anytime I upload a really amazing video and this coconut butter cake is really really easy to make and if you follow my directions as I'm going to show you guys you'll be able to make it so guys let's get on with the video so guys the first ingredient you're going to need for this coconut butter cake is a half a cup of butter now you can use margarine if you don't have butter but I would really prefer if you have butter for this recipe so the next ingredient you're going to add on to the butter is the powdered sugar and you will need one cup. You can always add, if you have a sweet tooth, you can always add or reduce. But I would prefer one cup of sugar should be enough for this recipe. So you're going to mix the butter and the powdered sugar until it's light and fluffy. So the next ingredient you're going to add into your bowl is one cup of condensed milk. You can, if you don't have condensed milk, you don't need to worry. You can always use four eggs for this recipe. And I would really recommend eggs if you're a beginner because you can never go wrong with eggs. When it comes to condensed milk, especially if it's homemade and you don't get the right consistency, it's going to be very difficult for you to bake this cake. So I would really prefer, if you don't have condensed milk, you can always use four eggs. So the next thing you're going to sieve into your mixture is two cups of flour. You're also going to sieve in one tablespoon of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. And then you're going to mix it until everything is nicely incorporated. next ingredient you're going to add in is a half a cup of milk and I'm going to add this in two installments so that was the first installment just make sure you mix in the milk until it's nicely combined and then you're going to add in the second installment of milk and then you're going to continue mixing until everything is nicely combined The next ingredient you're going to add into your butter is desiccated coconut and you will need about half a cup of the desiccated coconut. So just make sure you mix until all the desiccated coconut is nicely mixed with the butter and then the next step you're going to need your baking tin. So I'm going to be using uh, vegetable oil for greasing my baking tin and I think about half a teaspoon should be enough. And then I'm going to line the baking tin with baking paper and then I'll add in some more oil on, on the baking paper and just rub it in nicely. So the next thing I'm going to do is to pour in my butter and make sure all the butter is into your baking tin. So after pouring in your butter, you're going to tap your baking tin just to remove the excess air bubbles or any air bubbles that would be in your butter. And then I'm going to sprinkle some desiccated coconut on top of the butter. So the next thing to do is to place a large pot on medium-low flame 
and then you're going to place your cake stand into the large pot for example for me i don't have a cake stand so i'm going to be using this lid and then you're going to cover this and just let it heat up for about five minutes so after five minutes i'm gonna go ahead and place in my cake mold and then just cover it and then we're going to bake this for about 30 to 40 minutes if you're using an oven you're going to bake in a preheated oven at 180 degrees celsius for about 30 to 40 minutes After 30 to 40 minutes your cake should be done as you can see our cake is nice and ready and to make sure that it's nicely cooked on the inside you're going to get a toothpick or anything that you can use to pork the cake and you're just gonna pork it and when it comes out clean it means it means that the cake is nicely cooked on the inside and it's really ready to serve so you just take it out from the fire and you're going to let this cake to cool down for about 10 minutes before you remove it from the cake mold so I'm just gonna use a knife to trim it out of the cake mold because you never know somewhere might be stuck. So after trimming it out, we're going to remove it from the cake mold and as you can see, it just looks amazing. It looks yummy apart from the burnt corner because you know when you're baking without an oven, sometimes it's so hard to control some of these things. So guys, I'm gonna flip the cake over and just cut it through just to show you guys how the inside part of the cake looks. So guys as you can see the cake is perfectly cooked on the inside and it looks and smells so amazing guys i really want you to try this recipe so you can serve this with a cold glass of juice or a hot cup of tea whatever works for you and i really do hope that you guys are going to subscribe to my channel because you never know when you'll need this recipe and you won't be able to find it easily so if you subscribe which is totally free you'll be able to find this recipe quite easily and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified anytime i upload any amazing recipe or any amazing video so let me know also in the comments if you tried it out and how yours came out. I would really like to know. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And I'm really, really hoping to see you guys in my next video. Happy cooking, guys.